a dipole comprises of two charged particles of identical magnitude q and opposite in nature here it is in the mass m of the positive charged particle is half of the mass of the negative charge so here we have dipole one it is negative one is positive they are separated by distance l but the mass of the positive is m whereas the mass of negative is double of that which is 2m okay see for a, a system to be dipole their charges should be same right irrespective of their masses one is heavy one is lighter or maybe the mass are same but the charges should be equal and opposite now here if the dipole is placed in a uniform electric field e such a way that the dipole axis makes an angle theta small angle with the electric field so uh, let us assume i have uh, this electric field and in this electric field if i place a dipole like this right whose a dipole moment makes an angle theta then what will happen this electric field will try to bring this dipole back in this position right so it will try to arrange dipole parallel to the axis so now what i am doing is i am displacing this dipole by a small angle let us assume this is electric field and in this electric field i am displacing this dipole by a small angle right now on displacing this dipole with a small angle the electric field will try to bring it back generating a restoring torque and the torque is given by equation pe sin theta now for small angle we can write torque is equals to pe theta right now what will happen the, di the dipole will oscillate now when the dipole will oscillate right it will always oscillate about its center of mass so when this oscillate it has a axis right so this axis this point is the center of mass about which the dipole will oscillate now how to find center of mass so we have one equation x center of mass is equals to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by the total mass m1 plus m2 now this charge i am considering at origin okay so the mass is 2m but the distance from this origin is 0 so into 0 plus this charge has mass m and its distance from the origin is l because it is given that the distance between the dipole is l and divide by the total mass m plus 2m or 2m plus m is 3m now on solving we are getting l by 3 means the center of mass is lying at a distance l by 3 from this first charge or from the negative charge now for a system under torque we have equation torque is equals to i alpha from mechanics uh, i alpha from mechanics now alpha is the angular acceleration and i is the moment of inertia so if you have this is the axis and this is the particle of mass m at a distance r then its moment of inertia is given by i is equals to m r square if you have one more particle let us assume the mass is m1 distance is r1 another particle mass m2 distance r2 then this is i1 m1 r1 square and i2 is equals to m2 r2 square then the total moment of inertia is i1 plus i2 okay so uh, from uh, let us assume the dipole is rotating about this axis then for this particle the moment of inertia is i1 is equals to m1 r1 square now the mass of that is 2m and the distance from of this particle from this center of mass is l by 3 so it is l square by 9 so it is 2 ml square by 9 the moment of inertia of the second particle about the center of mass is m then distance is 2 l by 3 because uh, if this distance is l and this distance is l by 3 then this remaining distance is 2 l by 3 so the moment of inertia of this mass or this charge is i2 is equals to m it is 2l by 3 square so it is 4l square by 9 now if you solve this if you solve this you will get 2 plus 4 it is 6ml square by 9 on solving we will get 2ml square uh, by 3 so it is 2 by 3 ml square and here it is alpha and torque is also given by equation pe sin theta and for small angle sin theta is theta so minus pe theta is equals to 2 ml square by 3 into alpha and why minus p sign why minus sign because it is a restoring torque now if you make alpha as a subject so alpha is equals to 3 will go this side so uh, 2 will come here down in the denominator so it is 3 by 2 here it is p so p is equals to dipole moment which is magnitude of charge into separation l so it is q into l here e is there so e and angle theta angle theta now this l and this square will get cancelled so we are remaining with alpha is equals to 3 q here l get uh, cancelled so e into theta is equals to 2 m l we are comparing this with the general equation alpha is equals to minus omega square theta 
so here this term if you compare this then this term is uh, equal to the omega square so we can write omega square is equals to 3 q e by 2 m l so omega is equals to under root 3 q e by 2 m l so here it is asked angular frequency of oscillation so angular frequency is omega and none of the option matches this one so this is a bonus question if it is a just a frequency of oscillation then frequency of oscillation is given by equation f is equals to 2 pi by omega then you can rearrange and try to match the answer